everyone, my name is Carrie Brown and I am the public art curator here at San Pedro Creek Culture Park. Thank you so much for joining us today and welcome to our new series called Creekside Chat. Creekside Chats is an educational series meant to explore the many facets of San Pedro Creek Culture Park. And as the park continues to grow, the series is meant to grow with it. And we are looking forward to chatting with art and design professionals, historians, educators, and cultural leaders, all in the name of telling the story of San Pedro Creek. Its past, its present, and its future. Now, it is my great pleasure to introduce Carrie Merson, Education Specialist at the San Antonio River Authority. You may recognize her from our River Camp virtual educational series featured on the River Authority's website. She is a true gem and I'm very excited to have her as our first guest. Today, Carrie will be talking about the wildlife that you might see here at the creek, which has grown exponentially since the park opened in the last couple of years. After you're done listening, don't forget to download the wildlife coloring pages from our website and flex those creative muscles. Now, I'll turn it over to Carrie. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Carrie Merson, and I'm the Education and Engagement Specialist here at the San Antonio River Authority. Thanks for joining me on this edition of Creekside Chat. I'm here at San Pedro Creek Culture Park about to go on a wildlife walk. As an educator and a science communicator, nothing brings me more pleasure than chatting about Creekside Critters. Come on. I think some folks are surprised to find out that this park is home to many wildlife species so close to San Antonio's urban downtown. As you can see, there's a diverse range of plant species here from aquatic species and grass species, tree species, and even very small ground covering species. And those all play a part in an ecosystem restoration. Some of the first wildlife I noticed today were the many herons, ducks, and bees taking advantage of the habitat resources here at San Pedro Creek. So there is plenty of native grass to hide under, seeds to eat, nectar to drink, and fish to catch. Today I'm seeing some unique water-going birds taking advantage of this restoration, including the especially charismatic great egret. Great egrets are commonly mistaken for cranes, but they're part of the heron family. The long legs of this great egret will give it the ability to be far above the water and then peer down into the water to stalk its fish. When the time is right, it will use its beak like an arrow to pierce the water and quickly catch its prey. Oh wow, check it out. It's a snowy egret. They're much smaller than the great egret and have bright yellow feet with wispy, elegant feathers. Now these two egret species mingle nicely along the San Pedro Creek because each hunts prey that is more their size. There's very little fighting over food resources. The great egret might hunt larger fish than the snowy egret, as well as small rodents and maybe snakes, while the snowy egret hunts for mainly aquatic animals like minnows, aquatic insects, fish, frogs, and worms. Right behind me, I found a pair of black-bellied whistling ducks with some ducklings. Black-bellied whistling ducks are a type of tree duck that has bright pink, orange feet and bill. It forages on plant material in the creek, but will certainly snatch an aquatic insect or two for extra protein. You might hear them flying overhead with their call. Right behind me, you can see a few birds that are sitting on the wall, and those are neotropic cormorants, fish-eating birds. These cormorants migrate in from southern latitudes and are a little smaller than their cousin, the double-crested cormorant. And those also frequent San Pedro Creek, and they migrate in from the north. It might be easy to mistake them for ducks, especially with their similar webbed feet and body shape when resting. But that big hook at the end of their beak allows it to catch fish, and its powerful webbed feet and wings make for excellent diving into the water to chase their fish prey. So unlike ducks, they don't actually have oil on their feathers. And so when they dive, they actually get wet. That's why you'll see them fanning their wings out so that they can dry off in the sun before they fly. Otherwise, they'd be too heavy. You know, I can't help but notice this magnificent bird over my left shoulder on this mural by Adriana Garcia. It's an anhinga. It's also a diving bird. The anhinga is a distinctly special bird species to San Antonio. For according to the Payaya, the anhinga is responsible for the creation of all life around the Yanaguana, also known as the San Antonio River. The Payaya were the earliest recorded indigenous peoples around the San Antonio River that spoke of the spiritual waters of the river's headwaters, also called the Blue Hole, that manifested into the Blue Panther. The anhinga would dive into the water to receive nourishment from the spirit of the water. 
One day, the blue panther chased the anhinga out of the blue hole. As it opened its wings to fly, water droplets fell from its feathers, nourishing the land below. As you can see, wildlife have always had a home here at San Pedro Creek. And it's great that they have a place to live that continues to meet their habitat requirements. Sometimes when I visit, I run across a plant or an animal that I don't know the name of, or I know very little bit about it. I use the free iNatural smartphone app to learn more. I just take a photo or two, upload them to the app, and quickly become part of a citizen science community. This park even has its own iNaturalist project. Be sure to check it out. While the San Pedro Creek Culture Park makes a nice home for Texas wildlife, it's important that we continue to support them by keeping the water quality of the creek in good condition. You can help by keeping the land around your home and business free of pollutants like litter and pet waste before it has a chance to wash into the creeks after a rain event. Remember, it's important to leave wildlife wild by not feeding them or enticing them to come see you. I hope you enjoyed our little wildlife walk on this edition of Creekside Chat. To learn more about wildlife along the San Antonio River and the watershed, please visit the San Antonio River Authority website at sariverauthority.org. Keep learning and we'll see you soon.